Okay, everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install the Aries Wizard. Okay, this is just a basic um, Cody skin that we're looking at right now. When we're done and we install the wizard and we install a build, it's going to look a lot different and it's going to be a lot easier and a lot uh, better to operate. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do we're going to look for something called File Manager. Normally, it's underneath C. We want to find that. So click on that. Then we're going to hit Add Source, which is on the left-hand side. Um, I prefer to stay on the left-hand side where it says A side. So we're going to click on Add Source, and the keyboard will come up. There's a keyboard. Well, uh, this will come up, Add a Source File. And then what we're going to do is click on None, because we're going to put something in there. And the keyboard will come up, and you want to type in this here. That's uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash A-R-E-S-W-I-Z-A-R-D dot S-R-V-E dot I-O forward slash A-W underscore Z-I-P. I know it's a lot, but that's the address that gets us to the server, the Aries server, so we can start pulling files from there. Once you put that in, you're going to select Done. Then on the bottom where it says Enter Name for Media Source, uh, you can keep that if you'd like, or you can just uh, rename it Aries. I like to rename it Aries, but if you want to keep it like the way it was, that's fine. We'll hit Done. Then we're going to hit OK. Now you shouldn't get any errors. If you get an error right now, it's probably because you have a typo. So you may want to double check your type, um, what you've typed. Make sure there's no spaces or dots or anything out of the ordinary. It has to be exact or it will not work. So once we have uh, that done, we're just going to hit Home. Now we're going to look for add-ons. Uh, normally, it's going to be under System. So if you just click on System, it should come up Add-ons. And there's our choices. And you'll know you're in the right place because it'll say Appearance, Video, TV. We're going to go to Add-ons, click on that, then we're going to click on Install from a zip file. Once you do that, on the right-hand side, you should see these different drives. You want the one that we created called Aries. Okay, click on that, and then it'll take us to the server, and these are the files on the server. We only need, we only need one file, that's going to be the last one here, called script.ariesWizard000.34.zip. 34 just represents uh, what version they're at, and... Um, as of now, it's uh, February 26, 2016. They're at 34. So what I want to do is uh, click on that, and then it should start installing. It should give you a notification that it's been installed, and it'll usually be on the bottom right-hand side. Um, so we'll just wait on that. Um, could take uh, some minutes. Sometimes you have to do it twice, but um, I wouldn't wait more than five minutes. That's and That's pushing it. So I'll give it another 30 seconds or so. Since uh, Amazon has done their new update on their Fire Sticks, um, it's been running a little slow with some of the, there's, there's the um, notification there that we're looking for. It's been running a little slow. The, um, uh, don't worry about that error. I'm getting the error because um, I've done this multiple times, but you shouldn't get the error. But if you do, I wouldn't worry about it too much. So with this, what I'm going to do is show you a build that's a little bit lighter and it'll, it'll flow better on the Amazon Fire Stick because the new update that uh, Amazon has put out uh, over the last couple of weeks has really slowed down some of the Fire Sticks. So you may be watching this video because I've uh, encouraged you to uh, upgrade or update. Okay, so now that we got that notification, it's a program. We need to go find it in programs. So we'll go back home. And again, um, what you want to look for is programs. It may not be big and bold like I have it here, but um, um, it may be something like a submenu, like down here. So just see if you can find programs. If you do, click on it. And th this one went straight to Aries Wizard. Sometimes it may not. If you see those three, those couple of dots on top, that means you're actually right here, and you want to go to Program Add-ons. That's a folder right here. Then it'll take you to the wizard. Sometimes it takes you straight there, like it did right earlier, but if it doesn't, just keep that in mind. Then what you do is you just click on the wizard itself. Sometimes keep that in mind as well. And as before, if it does take a little longer than usual, I'll usually click on it one more time, but um, I don't think it makes a difference. I just think it's just a matter of waiting, but it makes me feel better. I'll give it about 30 more seconds. Now when we start downloading stuff from here, um, it may take a while. When I say take a while, it may take up to five, at the most 10 minutes to download something. So we'll, we'll 
do that. All right, there it goes, popped up. I was right about to hit it again, so all right. So here we are now. What we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and go to on yours. Since if you have an operating system on there already, we want to wipe it out. So we're going to go to more and we're going to select erase all data fresh start. It's going to erase everything except for the wizard. So we'll click on that and it's going to say, do you want to wipe it all out? And we say, yes, I do. So all your favorites, everything you've saved, it's all going to be gone. Just on, of course, on Cody. So it's wiping everything out right now. All right. Let me double check just to make sure. Okay. Do you want to install this? All right. So we'll just wait patiently and we'll have it do its thing, wipe it clean. On yours, it, it'll probably show up as being wiped clean. This one, I, I cleaned it up before I started the video, so it may not be giving me an indication because of that. So what I'll do is um, I'll go ahead and close out the uh, wizard. More than likely, you got an indication, but I didn't get one. Okay, so once it does that, um, It'll ask you to close Cody, you close it, then you just start it back up again, and it'll look like this. So now we all, we all have the same interface. This is the basic Cody interface. So what you want to do is go back into Programs. Once you log back into Cody, go into the wizard again. And as I said, we'll wait a second or two. Okay. Try to click on it one more time. Right. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is browse the builds. Okay, these are all the different builds, so here we go. We'll click on Browse Builds. And these are the different ones you can try. And you can try it. If you don't like it, you go through the process of erasing it again like we did here with that, that more option. And then you go back to your builds and try another one. But since a new update, I really like this one here. It's called uh, ProLite. We just keep going down. And this is the one that I recommend right now. Oops, get back up here again. This must have went through it too quick. Okay. bottom All right. uh, pro light fire stick builds it's just made for the fire stick so what we'll do is we'll click on it and you don't have to do a fresh start because you've, you've already um, done a fresh start so once you click on um, pro light you want to click install make sure you highlight install hit it and it should download pretty quick. This is a very small build. It's only 110 megabytes, which is small for, um, for the Fire Stick. Okay. Once it does that, it's going to um, extract. I'm going to wait for that to happen. Okay, we're looking here at the errors. We gotta make sure we don't get any errors. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you get one or two, but um, okay. Now it's gonna ask you, do you want to back up your skins? You just want to select no. That says Cody needs to be closed. Press OK to attempt to close Cody. Here's the important part: don't press OK. Unplug your Fire Stick, uh, the the power. Just unplug it and then plug it back in. I'm gonna say OK here because I'm not on a Fire Stick, but you definitely want to just unplug it and then plug it back in and log back into Cody. When you log back in, into Cody, you'll have a, a new, um, let me 
go and do that right now. Okay. So Cody's starting and it should the interface should look different. So this is what ProLight looks like. Now uh, wait five minutes, maybe ten minutes, but as you see it's creating shortcuts and then it's going to start creating, um, updating all the different add-ons. There's a ton of add-ons on here, and the add-ons are what help you get me uh, media, and um, you definitely want to wait for those to, um, let's see, now it says this audio one, if you want to disable it, this is pretty common, just say yes. It's not going to disable your audio, it's just for, for, for an add-on. This one says it's, it's, um, it's not compatible, so just say yes. We'll try to go and re reinstall that later. Okay. So here are all the updates right here coming in. Exodus is a great one. It's, it's uh, taking over for Genesis, if you're familiar in the coding world, world here. Obviously Entertainment Hub and such. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this video down and then I'll post another one showing you how to use the uh, Fire Stick, uh, I mean the um, ProLite uh, interface. Okay. Um, Look out for the video that says how to use Pro Light. Okay, thank you.